Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Allie here, and today I'm going to be filming this look on my everyday makeup routine and how I do it. It's something natural, simple, something that everyone can do. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's just jump right to it. So what I'm going to be using today, uh, I'm going to be using the Anastasia line, brow line, and uh, they're all going to be in the color chocolate. So I'm going to be using the Browiz, the powder, the SS 7B brush. So what I'm going to do first is that I'm going to be um, outlining the shape of my brow or the shape how I want it to be, which can, which is basically the, the step that takes me the most time to do. Now I'm going to be taking my powder and my brush and I'm just going to fill in the insides of what I just outlined. So now I'm going to be taking the gel and I'm going to just put that all over my brow to keep everything in place. Now I'm going to be taking the Farsali, I think that's how you pronounce it, Rose Gold Elixir and I'm just going to put that on my face so it can act as a base. Now since I am the type of person who does not get enough sleep, um, I'm going to be using uh, the NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector. I'm just put that under my dark circles so it can work its magic. Now we're going to go in for foundation and I'm going to be taking my NYX Total Control Foundation in the shade Beige. I literally got this a week ago and I am obsessed. I'm going to be taking in the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer and I'm just going to put that all over my under eyes. If you guys couldn't tell, I did not put foundation all over my face since I am i don't feel like I need it for my type of skin. As you can tell, my, I don't really have a lot of acne or spots or anything like that on my face so the only thing I apply foundation on is under here just to cover my dark circles so if you guys haven't noticed yet yes this is Dutch yes I'm a Dutch addict and yes I am from Oregon so all my fellow Oregonians comment down below 
and just say hey what's up and i don't know comment your favorite dutch drink your rebel or your coffee or anything like that and give me suggestions on what i should try for those people who do who sadly do not live in oregon or sadly have not tried dutch in your life you are not living <laughs> just saying now i'm going to be taking my parsley unicorn essence and this I fell in love the second I, I bought this um, and it smells amazing So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Glow Kit, which is a little dirty right now. I haven't cleaned it in a while. And I'm going to be taking the shade White Sand. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take my setting spray and I'm just going to spray that onto my brush. And I love doing this because I feel like it gives my it makes my highlight stay even more and it just makes it pop even more which I really really love now I'm gonna be going in again with my photo finish primer water uh, just to make sure that everything is set in place. Okay guys, so that is it. The finished look of my everyday makeup routine. Although I don't really wear highlight on a daily basis. But I was just like in a why not kind of mood. So there you go. So thank you guys for watching this video and give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, um, comment if you're an Oregonian, where from Oregon are you from, your favorite Dutch drink, recommendations on what I should try, specifically Rebels because those are my holy grail, my to die for. I have Dutch at least like every single day, which is pretty much a bad thing, but not really. So uh, also comment down below on ideas or things or tips uh, for me to consider or take in mind or take into action of how I can improve my YouTube channel, my videos and strategies on what I can use to film since I am just starting off my YouTube channel. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.